Amir, Amare, Amir, Knives, by the way. Hey, Yuli Henneke, and he's the, the man with Amir, and of course a knife designer, maker, extraordinaire, uh, contacted me and said, I'm going to send you a couple of knives, and these are the knives he sent me. Lucky, lucky. And I'll tell you why. The biggest deal is the creator. I had one in black and uh, somehow, I mean, this was a couple years ago, right? This has been out for a while. Tashi Baruka Design. Hold on. Let me, let me thumbprint it up here. Tashi Baruka Design VG10 Blade Steel. Monster knife. And of course, I hate big knives of course but i'll make an exception for this one i'm being a little facetious there gray backspacer hmm and you can get this in black you can get this in orange and i'll give you a link to the amir site the sentaku which is triple it's like the triple derby winner you get you can it's for three virtues right in the japanese style of uh being able to cut fish, seafood, vegetables, and meat. So how is seafood not meat? I don't know. You ever seen a tuna steak? Okay. But this is, uh, and you know, this is really the design for kitchen. And of course, it doesn't have a pocket clip. I'll tell you what, you're missing the boat, Yuli. You need to put a pocket, you need to come out with a pocket clip model. Because I think this, <laughs> I'd carry the damn thing. I'll tell you. And this is, um, by the way, this has got the A joint. Okay, you know, I'm not going to smoke a joint. This is the A joint uh, system. So it's like a slip joint knife. But it's different. Which means I'm going to pop this apart later on. And you get to see how a joint works. Uh on this one now okay next the a max and this is a neck knife here you go come in here a max 14c 28n it's got some holes in it what uh but yeah so it's light and it's usable and it's sharp and it comes with a little sheath here okay bingo bango just like that and then of course they give you this uh, little beaded neck necklace, whatever. So you can wear this thing, this chain around your neck. And I would imagine you hook it up here because you don't want to hook it up to the knife. And you have to pull the chain over your neck to be able to use it. So hang there, pull, boom. You know, uh, you're uh, able to take on that cocktail olive or whatever. But yes. There's that one. And then, of course, the super famous Field Bro. Hey, bro. You want a Field Bro? And I do. I have one downstairs. I should have pulled it up here. Except it looks exactly like this. I got it from Mastrop, and I've never been able to just sell it off. I mean, so many knives that I have to sell off, of course. I mean, I have to, but... Uh, can't keep them all. If I did, I'd probably have about $350,000 worth of knives now or more. So, yeah, that wouldn't work. Um, not for my wife, it wouldn't. <laughs> and so, it says number 100. I guess it's numbered. And then I kept thinking this one said 2. It said some 82. Okay. Yeah. This one numbered? I didn't think this was numbered. Hold on. Let me look at this one. No. So, but the Field Pro, in case you've forgotten about these knives, and this and this, they've been out for a while. I, I get that. You know, Mastrop hadn't been doing knives for a while, and they got another company that's kind of picking up the chalk on that, and I'll talk about that on another video. But this is, of course, way cool because it's a budget, you know, knife at VG10. Okay, so good and non-corrosive. Deep carry pocket clip, machined in so you can carry it right or left hand. And of course, this is perfectly 
ambidextrous is pit, piston lock. And then you've got the thumb studs that are ambidextrous. So everything's ambidextrous on this knife, everything. Uh, and it's just handy. It's a good uh, EDC size, I guess. If you, uh, you know, I mean, for me, I'll, I'll carry this, but this like 3.3 inch blade and seven point whatever overall length. So it's not a little like three and seven. See what I'm saying? There, three, okay, three and a quarter, 3.3, whatever you want to call it. And like seven and five eighths overall, which is almost 19 and a half centimeters and about 85 and a little under 85 millimeter blade length. And somewhere in here, I've got paperwork that'll speak to it. Um, let's, let's go down this road. This is a fairly slender 12 millimeter 0.47. So it's about same thickness as the paramilitary two. And then blade thickness is, uh, 0.12, which is three millimeter. Okay. So three millimeter. This one's just light, easy to carry. And if you've forgotten about it, maybe you ought to go back and think about this as one of your options for a, for a, you know, an EDC or just a budget, you know, EDC carry where you don't have to screw with it. And this one, a neck knife, if this appeals to you, there's all kinds of neck knives out in the market, but this obviously is not expensive and neither is the creator. Um, but this one, especially I want to keep around because I do, I, I do want to incorporate this into the, into the kitchen and see about that. Let me see if I got rugged old piece of paper here. Yeah. Okay. That's good. What have I got here? Is this one sharp out of the box? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. How about you little guy? Neck knife. Okay, let me see if I can hold the paper stay. Okay. Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you got to touch the paper the right way. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay, so we got uh, got a nice mess now. But yeah, they're all sharp. Uh, made by Real Steel. Um, and here's here's the thing for the little Amax information okay and then it gives you the specs down here so 2.2 ounces you know uh not very big overall okay yeah under two inch cutting edge and the handle length if you want to look at that 3.4 inch so um it's about 2.7 ounces with the sheath and kick this open see what i'm saying yeah 1.7 something uh, cutting length two inches at the back of the choil so 50 millimeters overall you know five and a quarter inches at uh, whatever the uh, 13 centimeters a little over 13 centimeters so and oh well this is the elephant in the room right it literally the elephant. Okay, four and a half inches. I mean, that's 115 millimeter blade length. Okay. And it's 10 inches overall length at 25 and a half centimeters. And, and the deal is, is this kind of gets uh, thinner, thicker, thinner, thicker. Okay. Thicker. -er -er. So almost 20 millimeters at 0.78 out here where it's the fat fatty and then in here 0.59 let me see if i'm not sitting on something here way up front 0.54 you know but you get all the way back again 0.77 and in between 0.64 it's about the thinnest okay so yeah this is a big dog uh it's got really good grip to it and like i said it's a at a joint so it it acts like a slip joint it's um different the way it functions and i'll show it to you you've got like an internal blade stop thing it kicks into a washer there's a washer with a little cutout on it and that blade stop pin that's 
part of the blade goes into that little U-shaped cutout and then it moves that entire washer around and it's got an A-frame shape uh, support and it just it rolls around and it'll and it'll uh, contact these two lobes here and yeah it gives you that slip joint feel to it so it's different it really is and uh, good questions I, I need to ask Yuli on this because on this side you get the a joint too but I don't know that 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 does anything on this side it really controls it on this side really really strange Although they say it's reversible, so maybe you get an extra piece. I, I don't know. It's it's confusing to me. It's a very different system. Not one that I've ever encountered before. So maybe you can kick in on your comment section if you're really familiar with how this works. And of course, Yuli might do so as well once I give him the link to this video. Now... Uh, let's throw this on the scale just I mean you know this one over here is like 2.2 and 2.7 overall uh, this one here okay it's 7.2 ounces at uh, 206 grams okay now the field bro bro 93 so uh, that's three I think that's three something yeah, 3.2 ounces. So, very light. Very light. Very cool. Where's my little 3 and 6? Here's here's an example of a 3 and a 6. A 3 and a 7, I'm sorry. 3-inch blade, 7-inch overall. So, the Field Pro's bigger. You know, it's not... I mean, this is like Para 3. This is like so many other things that are 3-inch blade, 7-inch overall. Gobs of them out on the market. This one's bigger, so, but it's not three and a half inch, and it's not eight inch overall, but it's seven and five eighths, so, okay, it's kind of in that mid-range, usable, and a real usable type of blade shape, I think. So, let's kick that one back here, put my swags away, my Kaiser Sway back. Now, Ergos, well, hello yeah I mean and here's the thing you can do this both fingers you can get right up here so if you are doing something a little bit more close quarters with this okay and you know this could be something you throw in your backpack for outdoor camping cooking thing you know what I'm saying as opposed to just in your dwelling you know doing cooking at home um and yeah, I mean, so you, or you can lay back and put that blade out there, you know, but you can get way up too. And so it's comfortable here. Uh, you could kick way back here and it's comfortable here. Okay. And reverse grip, God only knows why, but yeah, that's comfortable. Okay. Now, put, close you up. I don't trust you at all, damn it. Um, okay. Okay. Field Bro. Yeah, that's comfortable. I like it. And you know, there's nothing here to really disrupt your grip. Uh, it's pretty straightforward all the way. And it's a less is more kind of design. You know, although I find it very attractive, actually. And this G10, first of all, I mean, it's a natural G10, so you could dye this if you wanted to. You take the scales off. Uh, it, there's no backspacer here, standoffs. But you can take these scales off and, you know, blue, purple, whatever you want. You know, even make it more of a green green if you wanted. That kind of thing. So that's kind of cool. And the one I've got that was a master up one has a satin blade. So uh, there you go with that. And in, in the boxes, they're like a fitted box. Nothing fancy, but it gives you information on the actual knife. Okay, so, all right, in uh, two different languages, by the way. So, yeah, I mean, uh, all very interesting knives, and I just thought I'd, yeah, I mean, this has been out, this has been out. Is this a rerun? Well, this is kind of new to, this is new to me, okay. Uh, but I just thought 
uh, this has been a while since it's been in my hands and I just realized, hey, this, this should be the keeper. This one, yes, I have kept, not this particular one, but one just like it, uh, since it came out uh, because I really liked it. Uh, and you can get this in black G10, by the way, with a satin blade. Or you can get it, I think, black on black, too. Uh, so, reasonable prices. And I'll give you the link to their website. And they give you descriptions and everything. And I'll check with Yuli before I post this to if there's any other links that he wants me to throw down in, in the description and comment section for you. Okay, this may be my undoing. Okay. And we are going to do some undoing here. Uh, okay. And this was easy. Uh, because just give you a look at this um, A joint. You know, if you haven't seen a joint, then uh, I'm going to show you a joint. A joint. And uh kick this open. So we've got these external screws and uh, they have matching locker on them, you know, thread lockers. So that's quite the coordination. Oh, never mind. Okay. Now let's pull this off. Come on. You know, you're going to come off of there, right? What did I not do? Up. Oh, just didn't pull hard enough. There you go. There's your A joint. Now on the other side, there's a round washer with a little U cut out of it. And it goes around and engages these because this sticks in that little cutout. Okay. Instead of explaining it to you, why don't I just show you? Okay, let's do this and see if I can't uh, open this up a little bit more. Um, <laughs> Trying to think how best to go about this. Okay, so here, here's this. Okay, now uh, this should come off somehow or another. Okay, a little bit. Okay, now, C, C, C. There you go. Okay, now, and this is my present. No, this is the back side. Okay, never mind. That's the lock side. No, it's not lock side, it's, but it's kind of even, traditionally would be. Okay, now we got a blade here. See, I'm not going to take this apart because this is kind of under pressure of the A arms. And in the middle is this disc, uh, the washer. And here, this little U-shaped cutout is where this stop or this pin, normally this looks like an internal blade stop, right? It goes and it plops down in here. And then when the blade rotates, it moves this. And so, uh, yeah, so you get that effect of open and close like a slip joint. That's what that does. And, of course, this is on washers. They're a little bronze washer, and then there's a synthetic. See, there's the bronze on top, synthetic, underneath, kind of thingy thing. So, I mean, this is where you would want to go ahead and take it apart. And see, I, okay, I did that, right? Okay, yes. I just happened to stick that thing right in the right place I think I think okay hold on yeah okay and you can see that this has got uh, um, okay see I mean when you're putting it down here okay you rotate it to where that pin finds that groove in there okay but it's got a squared off area there and it and the, it's squared off on this front uh, liner, okay, where this pin goes through. Okay, that kind of makes sure you, you know where you're at with this, okay? So that's how this all goes together. 
just like this and then now we got little internal screws we got to put back in so you can open it up you can clean it out uh, you know that's the big thing about uh, a folder right is that if you're going to use a folder for food prep you're going to get all kinds of garbage in it probably and then uh, at some point in time you're going to want to be able to open it up and completely clean all the surfaces internally so okay so we got this pinned down here right and uh yeah okay we got all the washers on correctly and all that kind of stuff and so here's here's this so what is this i mean what's the significance of this uh Because there is no washer in here with a little U for this to stick into, okay? So is this just another piece? And he said, I think in the literature, it's reversible. If you look at this and you flip this piece, this metal piece, into there, it would be. So I wonder if this really has much of any function particularly here, I'm thinking about it. I mean, you guys can pipe on because you're probably seeing it obvious, but I'm not. Okay, because I'm, I'm not seeing where that is. I think all this function is over on that side. Okay. But once you tell me what the hell I've missed, I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay. Now I'll go, oh, how could I be so stupid? And... Uh, I don't know. I'd have to respond to my wife saying the same thing. Okay, here we go. Come on, get in here. God. Third time's charm. Ooh, baby. We're getting older. Getting older. And then looking through a camera is all kinds of fun, too. Let me tell you that. Try and make excuses for myself. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Finally, we got there. We tightened her down. Okay, that didn't screw, that doesn't screw in a long time. And this is more, see, this is more exposed, but this is where the scale kind of thins out. So these screws tend to stand out a little bit more than, look at this, flush right there, isn't it? So it's kind of interesting. Oh, well, I mean, that's the way she is. But creator, it's getting creative. Just like that. And can you get some smudges on there? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Probably should have laid a little bit of lube in there when I was doing it. But you can do that later. I mean, you can just kind of kick some down and work it in if you want. Not bad, though. I, something about this design I really like. Uh, could it be because it's Tashi Baruka? Yeah, could be. Bang. 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 Okay, so we got these three. Just uh, just an FYI in case you were interested in a mirror. And they had, I can't remember the name of the big old giant folding knife they had uh, that was a little smaller than this came out. It was pretty affordable as well. I thought that was interesting. But, I mean, they've got a, a bunch of other knives. So go to the site, take a look. Or, you know, White Mountain Knives sells their stuff. Uh, who else? I don't know. Maybe Blade HQ. I, I, you know, I don't know. You'd have to look around. But uh, of, uh, obviously their website would be more inclusive. Take care, my friends. We got these three rocking and rolling today. And thanks for hanging out, uh, whether this was that big a deal to you or not. But I think this is a, a, a real thought process as far as uh, food prep. And then this really just a nice EDC carry. So right here it says we love them knives. And that is true. So you guys stay sharp.